Welcome everyone, it's Sherry Carroll for SimonSaysStamp.com and I have a macrame project that I'm working on today and I'm going to show you some easy ways to work with it. So my kit is called Leaves and Branches and it comes with three skeins of heavy twine and also a natural wood dowel. The instructions in the kit were amazingly clear to follow and I'm going to get started and show you how I've hung mine on the wall. This is my first macrame project and I watched some videos and I noticed a lot of artists had theirs hanging and so I've used some command strips and stuck them to the wall and then I hung the wooden dowel from some extra string. Working this way allows the weight of the strings to hang directly down and let gravity take its course. This way your project will turn out straight. I've also attached my instructions to the wall with some tape and this is for quick reference since this is new to me and the knots are new so it has all the instructions on the front side and then on the back side it has a diagram of how to work. You'll start off cutting 24 cords at 12 feet and to attach them to the dowel you're going to use a lark's head knot and how this works is you're going to fold your cord in half then you're going to feed the loop over the dowel then pull the remaining cord through and tighten it up to the dowel with your fingers. You're going to want to make sure that you don't have anything twisted so that your strings will hang flat against the dowel. The instruction for this piece said to turn everything around, so I'm tightening them up and using those hooks I can just flip this around and I can work from the other side. Following the instructions I'm going to count six of my cords from the left and I'm going to move some of these off to the right to get them out of the way. So I know this is my starting and ending point for my first section. The instruction said to start with the second cord from this grouping and I've hooked that around one of those hooks. So now I'm going to start with my first thread. And to keep me straight I'm going to be using some clips to distinguish my base cord from my tying cords. So this is my base cord going off to the side and the clip I can move around once I move further into the project. There's only a couple knots to know for this project and they are diagonal clove hitch to the right, diagonal clove hitch to the left. Right now I'm doing a diagonal clove hitch to the right and I'm feeding that tying knot up into the base knot and I'm going to make sure that I have a little round loop. Once I have that done I will create a loop with the tying cord up in and I will grab the tying knot from inside the loop and then I can pull the rest of that cord tight. I found I get the best knot if I use my thumbnail and pinch those two pieces together. And then I'll continue on doing that same process until I have counted all of my knots from the instructions and I can move on to the next phase. As time goes on and you get used to the knots it becomes a lot easier and what I really had to pay attention to was when I had to change direction. Having my instructions right close to me to where I could reference them was super handy too. I followed the instructions closely in the beginning and then I went rogue and I created something a little bit different than the instructions to fit the size of my bathroom. Once I had my piece done I measured the length that I needed on the wall and then I trimmed my pieces up and I tied some overhand knots kind of randomly throughout the bottom of the project and I'm also trimming off some of these pieces so that it's not a straight line. I want it to have a nice whimsical look. As I progressed through this project, like I said it was my first time, I realized that my leaves were my weak point. And what I ended up doing is adding more of the twigs going down and then just a little leaf at the bottom. To hide some of my indiscrepancies, I'm using the Tim Holtz transparent wings and these are a bunch of butterflies and dragonfly wings and they are from clear acetate. So this works out perfectly just to hide some of those knots that don't look so good. Like I said, I'll be hanging this in my bathroom, so I'm using some hot glue and then I won't have to worry about uh, dampness in the bathroom. So I can just arrange these butterflies here and there on the project to fill it in and give it some life. 
Here's a look at my finished project. Some of the butterfly wings are bent, so they are reflecting some light. But the finished project is 32 inches in length, and that's going to sit right above the countertop to the side. I hope you've enjoyed this project. I'll definitely try it again and get used to doing some knots and honing in on my macrame skills. Be sure to check our store. There's several macrame kits that you can purchase, some small, some large. And as always, thanks so much for watching.